Of this year, some new exciting things that the staff has got coming. We're looking forward to being there next year. You know, one of the things I look forward to the most are the pig races. You know, that's that's always <laughs> something that, that that's very cool and exciting. The only thing to be better would be the little wiener dog races. Well, the pig races, everybody likes that from the youth to the elders. They, everybody likes the pig races. It's amazing to, to figure out how they can train them at such a young age. That's the amazing that's thing. You know, William Food. Michael... Food does a lot for us, don't it? It does. It really does. You know, I, you got to love the names: bacon, sausage. You know, pepperoni. I don't ham know. Hock. That's ham my hock. favorite. That was my mama's on ham hock last year. <laughs> so, Kinsley, you got any questions? Oh man, I just uh, thank you for uh, the, for being on and you know giving your you know your perspective of things and you know always uh, it's good to have you. Drum major, yes, Cambry Holyfield. Proud y'all here. Is All right, thank you, man. Ready? All right, now it's time to listen to the Tiger Pride Marching Band. They uh, do a good job and going to be competing tomorrow, I do believe, in a competition, I think, uh, up in Jackson. I might be wrong, but I heard it on Super Talk today, so I could be wrong on that. But uh, I know they competed in Oak Grove last week, so um, shout out to the Tiger Pride Marching Band for their halftime performance and will. Give it to them. Yeah. I tell him about your daddy. I say a little resemblance. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you know my, you know my dad. Oh, okay. Six on everybody's car. Yeah. That day is true.
So, Kinsley, how about that performance by the Tiger Pride Marching Band? Always a nice performance by the Tiger Pride Marching Band. A uh, very unique performance. Yeah, uh, very good. Uh, a lot of good rock right, songs in there. So, you know, here. it's always First a good time. Um, you know, so uh, the split the pot winner. Tigers are trailing. Number. 21 to 7 at the Six, half, so nine, thank y'all for listening three, wherever three, you might be. Zero, seven, and so, um, Six, five, you know, three, what do you see zero, and what do you seven, think, Kinsley, two. are going to be the points and key factors for the Tigers if in the second half? Ticket, you may pick up your well, depending on which side of the ball you're coming from. For the Tigers on defense, also, One key word, the big drawing tackle. tonight for the if they can do that, court, Yeti that's all the main also issue. Sponsored by the FFA. On offense, our winner this year block. is Huey That offensive Walter. line could just maintain the block without Huey holding. Walters, you can maintain their block for, Yeti you know, Cooler three, three and a half decent seconds. Just, just give McGee time to, you know, to drop back, runners. set in the pocket, find the open man and let it go. Which, I mean, from McGee, it doesn't really take that long. But, I mean, they're not, they haven't been giving him time to even Cobb. fully drop back. You are the winners so, of you know, he's just been running for his giveaway. life, you know, the first, whole first half. So, Charles they had to give him some time to drop the back and get settled and find his man. Giveaway. Absolutely. So, uh, the second half will be starting in about Thank two you. minutes. Uh, you know, both teams are out there warming up and, and ready to get things started here. The Panthers will be receiving here to start the half, so... You know, the Tigers need to come out strong and play that solid defense. They do. I mean, it's been, just been too many, you know, defensive series where they've allowed too many things to happen. And then, you know, closer to um, the end of the, the first half, I mean, they they had two close calls where the Panthers could have got on the board. So, you know, they have to, you know, keep up that same defensive momentum um, that they had at one point and, you know, just continue to keep that and continue and, and start playing some sound, strong, Tiger-style football. Right. So, you know, I mean, but they're going to have to play strong defense. They're going to they have are. to tackle. You know, they're going to have to do all the small, not jump off sides, hold their blocks. You know, yeah, no, make it happen. Yeah. A lot of stuff I got to do. Yeah, I mean, it's really it's to make it happen. The simple things, it's, especially when you mention, you know, you know, don't, you know, jump off sides and you know, just eliminating the 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 unnecessary penalties like the false start. I mean, things like that. I mean, you just have to play disciplined football. I mean, you just have to know, you know, what the snap count is. You know, you have to, you know, watch the ball. Don't listen to. You know, you know the quarterbacks. I mean, of course they could call it, give a, they could try to give a false snap. Don't look at the lineman in front of you because they could always do some little subtle movement to make you jump off. You watch the ball. When that ball moves, you move. Also in half. But you know, it just it's like they're going to have to go way back to the basics, the fundamentals. You know, think they should have learned to like, just pop Warner football or you know, flood no flag football, whatever they played when they were younger. I mean, it's it's the, it's the little the little things. Absolutely. So, how about those scores there? Uh, you know, uh, here in Jones County, West Jones leads Laurel at the half, fourteen to seven. South Jones trails at uh, North Pike, twenty-one to seventeen. So, uh, you know, some big, big scores. Yeah, those are uh, some some pretty big uh, games. Um, pretty some stout teams that are you know going uh, head to head tonight. So, I mean, hey, I mean, especially the Laurel and West Jones game. I mean, that's just you. You have a a, a, a strong defense going up against a, a, a strong offense. So that's, you know, <laughs> no, no, no telling how that game is going to end up. I mean, hey, it might, we might be looking into an overtime. Yeah, you're right. So that one has the potential to be a great one and a good finish to that game. It does. So the, the Tigers get set to take the field again after a halftime. And you said, as you said, they're going to kick it off to the Panthers. And uh, we're waiting for the game to start, and I'm not sure why it's not starting, so.